on how to make some vegan whole wheat chocolate chip coconut pancakes. This recipe is super easy and super yummy, so let's get started. For this recipe, the first step is mixing together all your wet ingredients. So right here, I have some um, soy milk, unsweetened. You can either use almond milk, hemp milk, any kind of non-dairy milk that you prefer. To your plant milk, you're gonna be adding one teaspoon of vanilla extract and two teaspoons of either apple cider vinegar or white vinegar. So you want to just mix them until they're well combined. And then we're going to set that aside. The next step of this recipe is mixing together all the dry ingredients. So right here, I have some whole wheat flour. You're going to just add that to a large mixing bowl. To the whole wheat flour, you're going to add arrowroot powder, baking soda, baking powder, salt and sugar. Next, you're just gonna whisk all those ingredients together. To the dry ingredients, we're gonna add in the wet ingredients. So go ahead and pour it in and mix it, but don't try not to over mix it because you wanna keep lumps in order to keep the pancakes nice and fluffy. Once you've added all the wet ingredients to your dry ingredients, you're going to go ahead and add two tablespoons of coconut oil. Okay, this step is totally optional, but this is literally what makes the pancakes so yummy. So right here, I have two tablespoons of shredded unsweetened coconut and a fourth a cup of dark chocolate chips. So you're going to go ahead and just add those to the batter and mix them all together. That's all the steps for the batter. I'm going to go ahead and throw this into the fridge while we heat up our skillet. In a large frying pan or skillet, add a little bit of coconut oil and heat to medium high. Using a spatula or a paper towel, evenly distribute the oil on the pan. Once the pan is hot enough, add about a fourth a cup of the batter to the pan and spread the batter out evenly with a spoon. You can add multiple pancakes to the pan, just make sure they don't touch. Cook each side of the pancake for about two to three minutes, making sure each side gets golden brown. Once this time has elapsed, remove the pancakes from the skillet. Repeat these steps until all the batter is gone. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Let me know in the comments below if you tried it out. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. You can also see more content on my Instagram at surfandsalt. See you guys in my next video. Bye!